Today we are going to talk about batch. Batch is a module in Imaris to let users uh, run some process or analysis automatically on multiple images in Imaris Arena. So it will be quite helpful if you your analysis or uh, your image process is related to some uh, re repetitive uh, job. So you can just use a batch to run those protocols on multiple images automatically and the export results as a, as a batch result. Okay. So today our learning objective is, is how to set creation parameters and reuse it later on other images and also how to build a batch pipeline including uh, just one object or including both image process and uh, segmentation using uh, spot or cell or, or spot or service or cell or filament and also to export the batch result as a, a complete uh, in, in a sp spreadsheet. And also we will mention a little bit about how to compare the result from uh, different images using the Vantage. Vantage is a plotting module in Imaris, which we will have another session to focus on this module. But today we will uh, use Vantage to compare the results from uh, batch images. Okay, so I'm going to switch to Imaris. Okay, so now in this folder, uh, let me delete this one first. I got multiple images that I separate into a control and the treatment group. So in each folder, I have three images that I want to analyze. So in this case, if you want to run the same uh, analysis or image process on these multiple images, uh, batch might be helpful. So to use the batch first, you need to have a protocol. So to build a protocol, you can either using, you can just go to one images and try to do some analysis and save the parameters so you can reuse later. So here, to simplify, maybe let's say first we want to detect the number of these red uh, vesicles or proteins, the number of these red structures. So we can probably use the spot function we mentioned before. So before I do that, first I want to go to the preferences and the statistic and make sure that the statistic in the spots are the one, ones I, I need. So here you can see I simplified the statistic a little bit for the batch because we don't want the batch to run a lot of you know, un, unneeded uh, statistics. So before you do that, just make sure you configure this uh, statistic according to your uh, requirements. So here I just put some few statistic here. Okay, as you can see, so click OK. So now I can start to make my first uh, protocol using spots. So here I'm just going to use the red channel and the X estimated XY diameter. I'm just going to use the default value. And here maybe looks OK. All right, so I finished my spot detect using the, the creation wizard. So if I go to the uh, creation, you can find the uh, parameters or numbers we have used in this protocol here. So including the uh, source channel and uh, diameter and also the threshold you use to, to filter the number of the spots based on the intensity. Okay, so for these uh, parameters, if you are satisfied, you can store the parameter for batch 
Otherwise, you can go back to one of the steps in between and try to redo from the middle or from the start. Okay, so let's say I'm satisfied with these numbers, so I can store for batch. So I can rename these uh, creation parameters. So let's just call it a spot one. Okay, so I can store in the arena, which means I can use it for a batch, or I can store it in the favorite uh, creation parameters, which I can reuse at the first step of the uh, spot creation. So I save in both locations, so I can click OK. So it's already override, so it's already there, so I override it. Okay, so for the February creation parameters, it means if you have another image, then you want to use the same parameters. So when you do the uh, spots, the next image, under the uh, February creation parameters, you will find that previous parameters you have saved here in the drop down list here. So once you click it, then uh, if you don't need to change anything, you just click this green button and it will go all the way to the end and the finish using the same uh, parameters. But if you want to do some fine tuning in the middle steps, then you can click this, use these uh, parameters, then go step by step and you can check or change some parameters in, in the middle. Okay. So that's what you can do. And for this February uh, creation parameters, if you click on this toolbox icon here on the right, you will be able to modify these parameters. So you can delete, remove these parameters if there are too many, or you can uh, export your own parameters using this format and uh, you can you know save it other place just in case other people delete accidentally delete your uh, parameters then one uh, you, later if you want to use it again you can import it into imaris and then you reuse it okay. so that is one uh, how to reuse the uh, creation parameters but today uh, we are also talking about the uh, how to run the, the batch so as you can see, when I save the parameters also in Arena, it will show us this uh, small uh, icon here as the ICSX file. So in here, then you can run batch, which means for these parameters, if you right click on these uh, parameters and you, uh, you will be able to run batch. So for just for the images in this folder, or if there are subfolders, you can run batch in in the subfolders okay and here you can also copy to other uh, folder or the parent folder past so you can run batch here if i run this batch uh, parameters with uh, subfolders then all the images in this folder including all the images in the subfolder will be uh, processed okay so let's see here if i right click and the run batch so you can see on the right, so Imaros run this analysis on all the three images and there are, there are some uh, prog progress here on the right. So green, green check means uh, it's finished. And once it's finished, you will see there is uh, additional items here. This is the uh, batch result you can export together. So after the batch is finished, you will notice uh, on each image, there is an icon, like number two icon here, and there is a, a object which has been created. So Imaris actually uh, process this uh, protocol on all the three images, and in the same folder, you will see a copy of this raw data, which include the which includes the uh, analysis which has been done. For example, this one is a spot. So when you click on this image, actually you are viewing this uh, batched, batched uh, copy. 
and so raw data is here. All right, so what you can do with this uh, batch result is uh, you can still go into uh, each, each image and uh, check the spots because batch does not include the uh, manual, manual edit result. So if you need, still need some further manual edit, you can still go to here. Like previously, we have introduced how to manually you know, delete or add the spots. So you can still go to here, and then let's say if you want to delete something, then you can still delete and save the image. Okay, so the result will still be uh, saved. When you go back to Arena and uh, do this on um, multiple image if needed, then when you come back here, if you want to export all the statistic results together, you can use this button here. So you can see there is a, a floppy disk icon here. So you can export a different uh, format. So let me say XML file. So I export it to desktop and click save. Okay. So in that spreadsheet, you will see all the statistic included in your current spots and for all the images here together. So here you will find, uh, for example, on the channel uh, intensity mean, you will find here the, all the numbers including the original image name. Okay, so 2-2, 2-3, 2-5, that's all the results from these three images. And uh, if you have done some manual edit inside, so the number will also be uh, reflected here. Okay, so it's a directly link. Actually, this sheet is directly a link to the result in each uh, images. Oh, sorry, there is a small glitch. glitch. Okay, so let's go back here. So let's say uh, if you are not satisfied with the batch result and you want to delete, delete the batch result, then it's very easy. You just uh, click on this uh, trash bin. So undo, so you can undo the batch. And furthermore, if you don't want to keep the uh, batch copy of the image, you can, as you can see, there is still an icon here. So you can right click. Uh, revert to original image or previous image means if you have multiple batch, multiple step, then you can revert one step. So here I'm just going to revert to original image and I can use my raw data and do it again. So here is a very simple, just one object uh, detection. But if you have more, for example, if on this image, not only the spots, but I also want to detect the, the, the cell volume using the surface. So we, we can add one more uh, segmentation process into this batch pipeline. So here also we need to create a surface first. So I'm just going to use some default numbers. Maybe more okay, like this. Finish and the filter all the small ones and finish. Okay, so let's say this is my uh, service creation. So I can still I can go to here and the store parameter for batch. I think uh, before I do that, usually I will try to configure the preferences and the surface, just area or some general volume, total number of surface, intensity mean, etc. Okay, so okay. Then install parameter for batch. I just call it service one. So here, when I go back, I don't want to save it. You can see I have two, two uh, analyses, individual analyses I can run uh, separately. Or if you want to uh, create 
a pipeline which include both analysis process. You can find, if I click on one of them, you can find on the right here, we have the pipeline edit editor. So you click on this uh, pencil icon. This panel will be open and now you can, you know, either just drag and release. So now we can have this pipeline, including both surface and the spot we have created. Then we can save uh, another name. So for example, here we can call it spot plus surface or green plus red, etc. Right, so here we have this new pipeline. And also you will notice there is a, a option here, say drop an image here to start the, the, the batch wizard, which means you can uh, go into this batch wizard and uh, try to do some modifications on the parameters. So for example, here it always uh, leads you to the uh, image process step in the first, at, the, at the beginning. So if you need to do any imaging uh, process before you do the segmentation, you can apply here. So for example, if you want to do a median filter before, you know, to smooth the image before you, you do uh, any segmentation to help you to improve the result, then you can do here as well as the uh, deconvolution. You can apply the deconvolution in batch as well. So here to make it easier, I will just apply the, maybe the, mm, I can try background subtraction you know, using the, the filter or uh, baseline, uh, using the filter width. Like here, just as an example on the green channel. So for next. Okay, so here, as you can see, these are the, the previous uh, results for surface and the spots. Then you can you know, go to one of the steps and uh, try to you know, reconfigure the numbers. So for example, this uh, surface, we have all these numbers same as previously. So if you need to change it, uh, you can modify it here. Okay, let's, let's keep the same. And once finished, you can click OK. And there is an option here you can notice if I have the uh, image process step, previous image process step uh, included, there will be an option to you know, store processed image or not. Because uh, sometimes uh, you just do the image process for uh, for the segmentation, you don't necessarily you know, need it to be uh, saved. So there is an option to not save the uh, processed image. Just keep the raw data and show you the uh, segmentation result based on the processed image. So it depends on uh, what you need, you need it or not, you can have the option to check or uncheck this uh, store process image. Okay, so I'm not going to store process image, so I'm just going to say, okay. Okay, so this uh, pipeline has been updated, like including the background subtraction and the surface and the spots. So now I can save it. Okay, so you can notice if I have the uh, image process uh, step, there is additional uh, green error, green part in my pipeline. So including, it includes the uh, image process as well as the uh, segmentation. Okay, so now I can right click and the wrong batch. So let me maybe just copy this one. Copy, okay. Go to the here and the uh, test. So I want to run it for the images in these two folders. Okay, so for these two, I can probably just temporarily remove it. Okay. Delete it. Okay. I just want to run it on these two folders. So here I can run batch, right click, run batch, including subfolders. 
So you can see there is a, a queues here, global queues, including the uh, the process, the progress. Let's start in the folder. Okay. So I think it's still it's still running. So let's check. So it will take some time. So this one is finished. And this one is also finished. Okay. So here I have the two results and these two results are based on the same batch. So as I mentioned previously, you can just go to each folder or each image and try to adjust the fine tune the result using the manual edit, then save the image. From here, you can export. You can export the result in, in the whole complete spreadsheet, same spreadsheet. Or another thing you can do is, uh, if you want to compare, the result from these images to see whether there is some uh, statistic uh, you know, numbers you can compare. So you can click on this vintage plot. So create a new vintage plot. So from here, you, uh, Imarus will take, will take the uh, result from those images and uh, use the statistic to create a plot based on your preferences. So for example, uh, now I'm on the 1D view. So I previously, I create a surface and a spot. So this is a surface and the spot. Then here you can assign one of the uh, statistic you want to compare or for example, the numbers or you know, different statistic, you can compare between the different objects. If there are, for example, if there are two surfaces represent the two cells, then you can use the, maybe the volume or sphericity to compare. Here it maybe is not a good example. I'm using the spot and the surfaces. So maybe the comparison is not so straightforward, but, uh, the purpose of here is I want to demo the, you know, you can use this vintage plot icon to make the comparison of plot based on the batch result. So here you can see we have the uh, spot and the surface like this. Okay. So you can uh, configure this uh, plot based on your uh, preferences in vintage. So you can make a lot of different uh, plots. So for the Vantage, we will have another session to focus on these uh, configurations. Here, what I want to uh, say is you can use the Vantage directly, you know, to get the data from these images directly and use it uh, in Vantage, okay? So here, as you can see, I have two groups. So if I want to compare the results between these two groups, I can go to the parent folder and also I can select two folders and make a new plot. Okay, so here it actually gives you the whole result. So for example, here, if you just want to compare the two of them, you can uncheck. So this will be the result from the control group and the uh, experiment group. So you can see whether there is any uh, difference in a volume or in other st statistic using this uh, box plot. Okay, and uh, you can, from this box plot, you can also export the, the numbers or the statistic you use to plot this, to export this to a spreadsheet here. Okay, so sometimes this is quite useful to have a quick comparison or you can just export the result and into Excel or other program and do the statistic according to your preferences. Okay, so another scenario is if you want to compare the result in the same folder but different images. So in here, uh, because Imaris 
uh, we try to improve it, but still Imaris, when fin finish the batch, Imaris gives you the uh, same name for this uh, results on each image in the same folder. So if you want to compare, for example, I want to compare the number of the spots from these images, then I will need to go in here and change the names. So for example, this is the first image. So I just call it spot one. And I go to here, I call it spot two. And I go here again, I call this spot three. Okay. So only when the name is different, then Imaris will, uh, the Imaris Vantage can show it as the uh, different object. So here I have spot one, two, three. So now you can compare. Okay. So if the name is same, Imaris will show everything in the same, uh, same statistic. But if the name is different, then Imaris can show it in a separate item, as a separate item to compare. So we, maybe we still try to improve this a little bit, but for now, if you want to you know, do the comparison in the same folder, in but different images, then you will have to go in each image and change the name uh, manually to a different name. I think it will still, if I go here, then you can see there is a, is a link, so you can have a different uh, object. And also if you export the result, okay, it's not started. Let me check uh, this name. Okay, so let me rename it. XML. Okay. Okay, so now it will give you the, you know, the result in a different uh, group, like here, spot two, spot three, and the surface. So it depends on what you want to, you know, see your result. So some, sometimes you just need a whole statistic, and you can, you know, do the calculation. So you don't need to see in each images. You just need the total number. Or, or the number of the volume, et cetera, to compare in just a control group or treatment group. So you don't need each image. But in case you need, then you have to go in each image and change the names here. Okay. So in Maris will you know, export it in a different item, individual item. So that is the uh, batch. So I want to you know, show you. And also, you can start from the, the fresh for example if you you know didn't go to each image and the create these separate ones then combine you want to do it all together then you can just click one of the image and start new batch so you will start from the image process then you can do one by one then finish the whole uh, batch pipeline in one go okay so there this button is also you can use to create a new batch.